Oh, hi, podcast listeners. There's many ways you can listen to the Real Nerds podcast. You can subscribe on iTunes. You can also subscribe on Stitcher Radio. You want to send us a Twitter message? You can do that. It's so easy, at Real Nerds. Like us on Facebook, Real Nerds Podcast. You can visit our website, realnerdspodcast.com, where there will be a lot of articles for you to not only read, but to listen to our previous shows. You can also call us, 720-6NERDS5. Thanks for listening, and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Dave Callahan, creator of Jean-Claude Van Johnson. And this is Peter Atencia, the director of Jean-Claude Van Johnson, and you're listening to the Real Nerds Podcast. Welcome to a very exclusive episode of Real Nerds Podcast, where we sent our very own Brad to interview the creators and director of Jean-Claude Van Johnson, an Amazon Prime exclusive series that you can stream for one season. Here's the interview. Welcome to Real Nerds Podcast, the unofficial podcast of Denver Comic Con. I am your host, Brad. And I have a very special interview for our listeners. I have ventured all the way to Los Angeles from Denver to speak with the director and creator of a very awesome <laughs> new show on Amazon Prime called Jean-Claude Van Johnson. They have no idea how excited our podcast is about this show since we first saw the pilot during pilot season. Um, and to be able to be here and talk with them and find out more about how this great concept came to be. I'll, I'll let them introduce themselves. Awesome. Uh, I'm, okay. D- I'm Dave Callahan. I'm the uh, writer, uh, the creator of the show. And I'm Peter Atencio. I'm the director of the show. Fantastic. Good to meet you guys. Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. So tell me, where did this concept gestate from? How did this come to be? Uh, well, uh, this is Dave, listeners. Hi. I was contacted about four years ago by the production company, Scott Free, which is um, Ridley Scott's production company, obviously. They had been contacted by Jean-Claude, or his agents, and he had been expressing an interest in coming into television, now that TV was becoming a, a bigger deal. And I was contacted because at the time, I was primarily known as, a, as an action writer in the feature world, and they wanted to make an action television show, because Jean-Claude is an action star. Uh, I was super excited to take the meeting because I grew up loving Jean-Claude, I think probably as much as you or your, your listeners. But I had I walked in the room and I just said, listen, I love Jean-Claude, I want to do something with you guys, but I have no interest whatsoever in, in writing or watching an action show starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. I think it's the same, that would end up being the same thing that we've seen him doing for the last 30 years, which though I love, uh, wasn't new or interesting to me, and I just felt that there was a lot to him that we hadn't seen yet, and I, I felt pretty confident that I could bring it out, and so I pitched them, let's do a comedy where he plays himself multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fantastic. Like we, we we've watched a bunch of his movies, and like it's it's he's underrated as a comedic like talent. Yes. Um, Very uh, like, so. One of the more recent ones, Welcome to the Jungle. I was so impressed with his comedic turn in that. Um, his physical comedy skills are yeah. really, really up there, and, and, and just facially, he can do so much with his face, so it, you know, we knew that if we gave him the right material and just paired sort of the storyline with it, it wouldn't be as hard as I think people might have expected it to be. Yeah. I love what he does with Philippe ah, on the amazing. show. Philippe he's, is inspired. Is that his voice? Yeah. Or is that a dub? That's his oh, voice. Oh no, that's Jean-Claude. That's Jean-Claude. That's Jean-Claude. He that, yeah. just came up with that voice on his own. He, the day of. Yeah. He like pulled Dave into his trailer and was like, can I show you something I've been thinking? And did the voice for Dave. It was not written <laughs> yeah, no, in was... the mind, or, or I believe planned in a mindset where we were expecting him to do a voice. No. We just thought it was going to be Jean-Claude's voice on a strange looking version of Jean-Claude. And he, yeah, he pulled me into this trailer and said, uh, can, can Philippe have a different voice? And I said, sure, what are you thinking? And he did that. Uh, I mean, I almost lost my, sh- I don't know if I could swear on your podcast. Oh I, yeah. I, I, almost, I almost lost my shit. It's, it's and then I told game. him, yeah, do that for sure, but I want you to go into the rehearsal, do a normal voice, and then on the first at live take, 
then do the voice and don't tell Peter you're going to do it in advance. And that's what he did. <laughs> and that's what he did. And awesome. it was amazing. And I almost lost my shit, yeah. too. But held it together and said, wow, that's a nice voice. Is that your Philippe voice? And he said, yes. <laughs> and then nice. it stuck. Yeah. And his physicality, like portraying two separate characters in the same scene. Yes. Uh, you yeah. really watch impressive. him become Philippe and become other characters in the show that I won't give away. But he really... he, he takes it very seriously and yet it seems like it's relatively effortless for him but he really enjoys doing it. Yeah, Philippe's very much a creation of Jean-Claude Van Damme I mean obviously it, the character was written in to serve a plot function but the voice the, the bo- there's a body he has his own body language, he walks differently he, he, everything about him is different than Jean-Claude which was not I think something that I expected that character to be and he just, he embodied it he understood in his head that this is a different Psychology. I, I'm convinced that if doctors like took his vitals while he's Philippe, they would get like different readouts because yeah. he gets like sweaty as Philippe oh, yeah. <laughs> in a different way. It's very like I he it, it he like disappears into that person. And we should have done a document. Have you, we should like have you seen that Jim Carrey documentary on Netflix? I'm no, not, yeah. not talk not allowed to talk about Netflix. I'm saying yeah. You mean that <laughs> crap that on a rival streaming platform? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. So, Peter, how did you get involved with the project? Uh, I was finishing up a movie called Keanu and uh, starting to think about what I was going to do with my life after that. And um, the script came in, and I read it, and I thought to myself, there's no way that anyone would actually give someone a lot of money to make this happen. And those are usually the types of projects that I like the most, is like, no, this can't exist. And I just fell in love with it. It had... So many of the things that I was interested in, you know, comedy, action, Jean-Claude Van Damme, I grew up a huge fan of him as well. But it also had heart. There was a real emotional through line to him and the character and a real sensitivity, which is really what I like in a movie is to feel something for the character and, and get invested emotionally. And that was Aaron Spades. So I was I was on board. Nice. So um, after the series got greenlit... Um was there a plan from the pilot for the following five episodes, or once it got greenlit, did you put it all together from there? Or I mean, there's a bit of an arc going on. We kn- we knew what the first season generally was going to look like because we, as you know, in the pilot we set up a certain mission and a, a, both a certain infield mission, but also a certain emotional mission for Jean Claude. So the first season was always designed to play those things out. We knew we were going to be in that location and. Uh, we knew that we were going to be making Huck for the majority of the first season. So, yeah, it was, it was mostly in place. The specifics of how it unraveled the specifics were, were not changed in, a lot. Changed a lot. Yeah. We, well, first of all, we didn't know how many episodes we were going to get. So, you know, the amount of storytelling we had and then sort of the direction that things ended up in changed a lot over the course of the creative process, which was really fun. Um, yeah, it was. It, it, it definitely continued to evolve... Uh, after the the pilot and in very satisfying ways so it was just kind of fun to to dig in and keep it going now now if it goes on to a second season do you already have like a like a plan for that or is that something you're just going to wait and like until the success of this uh i signed a a (laughs) non-disclosure agreement i can't talk about that (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I didn't, but I'm a procrastinator, so I just wait until the very last minute to do anything. So Right on. Yeah. Um, if so, we get a second season, it'll be even weirder. So uh, I guess, uh, what are you guys working on next, other than um, a possible second season? Like, what other projects uh, do you plan on? Uh, nothing that I can talk about, okay. unfortunately. But uh, I'm writing some movies, but I'm, right now my focus is you know, seeing where we go with this, what, what writing this way. If this is... An incredibly exciting, unique opportunity for both of us. And the other stuff that we get to do is wonderful, but like Peter said, this show is not something that really probably someone should have ever paid for. And the fact that we're now doing it, if we could get away with more of it, I think that would be my dream. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Glad, I'm glad you guys did it because it's so much fun. And if you're a fan of Jean Claude Van Damme, like all the self referential stuff is just icing on the cake. Uh, so I guess I'll uh, thank you for your time. Thank you. And thank you. To us and uh, yeah, so uh, tell everyone where you can find Jean Claude Van Johnson. Jean Claude Van Johnson premieres on Amazon Prime Video starting December fifteenth. All five, six episodes will be available at that. Yeah. 
watch it. <laughs> Here, Dave, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this episode of Real Nerds Podcast. Real Nerds Podcast is a production of Nebulous Visions Multimedia. Thank you to Sparks Mandrill and Plan 9 Studios for our kick-ass theme song. Also, if you're in the Denver area and you're looking for a cool place to see movies, we see them at the Alamo Draft House in Littleton and now also in Sloan's Lake. Thank you to Colorado Coins, Cards, and Comics for supplying us with all our comic needs, especially you, Andrew. You know who you are. And a big shout out to James's mom. I'm giving you an electronic hug that you can feel through the airwaves. Thanks for listening and have a nice day. Thank you for listening to this episode of Real Nerds Podcast. Real Nerds Podcast is a production of Nebulous Visions Multimedia. Thank you to Sparks Mandrill and Plan 9 Studios for our kick-ass theme song. Also, if you're in the Denver area and you're looking for a cool place to see movies, we see them at the Alamo Draft House in Littleton and now also in Sloan's Lake. Thank you to Colorado Coins, Cards, and Comics for supplying us with all our comic needs, especially you, Andrew. You know who you are. And a big shout out to James's mom. I'm giving you an electronic hug that you can feel through the airwaves. Thanks for listening and have a nice day.